Hey guys, welcome back to Clever TV. Dana Ward here with Laura Murano, and we're actually here in Orlando, Florida. What? Disney Friends for Change. You've been Oh yeah. You've been a big part of this weekend. What's been your favorite part so far? Um, I just were at the Disney's uh, Friends for Change Youth Summit and I just saw Craig uh, Kalberger talk and I'm I'm changed for life. That guy is amazing. He inspired every single person in that room. I was near tears. It was amazing. He's from the organization Free the Children. Is there anything in particular that stuck out in your mind that you're inspired by to do or I think I think he really said it. It's that every single person has a gift and that if you can put your gift towards a really important cause, that obviously you should and that I think sometimes people think that they don't have gifts, that they're too small or it's it's not that big of a deal, but it's you know, find out what you're good at and then just go for it. And I feel like it can also be really, really fun. It's yeah. not a serious thing. Yes, I totally agree. And you know, it's you can always like grab friends and you know mm -hmm. have the best day ever. You make friends on you know different projects. It's 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 actually a very friendly experience. Yeah, give us an insider view of like what's happening in here. What have you experienced this weekend? I've just met so many kids. Today there's nearly like a hundred kids from around the world who've done so many important projects, you know, whether it's the environment. I met one girl who does theater for special needs kids. I mean, it's like, they're all just about helping communities, helping the planet, helping different people. It's it's inspiring to me. It's kind of crazy that they're excited to see, you know, the Disney Channel kids. I'm really excited to see them. They're so awesome. And I feel like it's definitely all about doing something you're passionate about. Yes, yeah. Is there anything in particular you want to start doing to be more green or to help the environment? Yeah, you know, I, I really, uh, I, I, I want to have everyone on set like recycle and then collect the bottles and then maybe get money from the bottles and then like or, or from the bottles and like donate the money to another like environmental cause. I think mean, that'd be like super cool. It'd be like yeah. double the like environmental help. It'd yeah, you're hitting them on all yes, grounds yes. basically. Is there anything your character you think could do better in this world to help the environment or she's already doing really well? On Allie and Austin. I think Austin Allie, I think Allie uh, is since she is a very strict uh, rule maker or and also follower. She's the kind of person who would like be very upset if someone like littered or someone didn't recycle. I think she can do all the three R's. Um, maybe she doesn't <laughs> turn off the water when she's brushing her teeth, so Allie needs to work on that. Oh. But I think she's she's a she's a pretty pretty environmental person. Remind us, what are the three R's? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Mm. Love it. Oh yeah. Speaking of the show, can you give us a little update? What's coming up? What can fans look out for? Well, there's going to be more animals, of course, and then um, the Who Done It weekend is coming soon, and it's going to be a little dramatic. Uh, Austin got framed for stealing, so we'll uh -oh, see what happens. Uh oh. There's a thief. <laughs> and what kind of animals? Did you work with any? Oh, uh, actual animals. Oh yeah, alligators and birds. What, what was it like? Any funny happening? Um, so, <laughs> so we had a baby alligator. Yes. We had a baby alligator, so super cute. Um, and then in this, you know, in the scene, I'm supposed to like turn around and like see the alligator. Um, I almost stepped on the alligator, and I Ooh. yeah, it, and like like people like shout out no, and I didn't hear until like the fourth no, which is bad. Like I'm kind of worried about my ears. Like that's that's a problem. I like felt so bad for like. But or you like, didn't do it. I didn't do it. I did not step on the alligator, but I was no. like pretty flipped out that I was going to. It was scary. <laughs> Poor alligator. Can't Aww. fend for itself. Anything else you're looking forward to this summer? Um, I'm looking forward to working. We just got picked up our, you know, our season two of Austin Alley, and I'm I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but I'm like really excited to work with everybody. Awesome. Well, we're very excited too. Thank you so much. And thanks to you guys for checking out Clever TV. Make sure you keep it here for more details on Disney's Friends for Change. See you Ooh. soon.